I came up with two main scientifically researched leadership models, which we'll discuss today. The first one of these leaders, the model one of leadership, is called the talkers. So the talkers will be having today to battle in a street fighter form of pattern against the walkers. So who are the talkers? Talkers are leaders who have a way with people. These guys know what to say, when to say, how to influence others, how to get people to believe that this is the leader that we want. These leaders may be the most famous on social media. They always know how to get that position. However, what's their approach towards leadership and living their lives? And justifies the means. And we know a lot of leaders who fall under this approach, which is the ends justifies the means. These are leaders who are ready to do whatever it takes in order for them to get there, to make it happen. What is their goal? It's leadership itself. Power, personal gain, fame, money, recognition, and even influence. To them, leadership itself is the goal. But is that what leadership is all about? Quality check is an example of their approach. Anyone familiar with quality assurance, quality check, difference between them? This is going to be an educational session. So quality check as a concept in quality, quality check is when you only test your end product without having to worry about how it gets there. However, take an example of having to order a meal at a restaurant. If you can't be bothered with how it gets to you, or the restaurant doesn't really check how that meal is going to get to you, then uh, I'm not pretty sure you really want to eat that. So if the process of getting to what you want and achieving your goals is going to all depend on the goal itself without really worrying about the process of getting there and how you actually got there and what was the journey, then we might have a problem. So, what's their approach towards change? Tokers is a very interesting approach towards change. And here we have a little stunt explaining their approach. When it comes to change, they fuel a lot of emotion. They shake up organizations. <laughs> they get people excited. They're all over social media campaigning, getting everyone excited here, toppling organizations, changing everyone around them. Um, a lot of change is happening all at once. A lot of shake up. And what happens after that? Okay, the guys in the front, you <laughs> What happens after that? Is what? <laughs> An explosion. What happens with these leaders is they have major changes in a very short, very short uh, period of time. They can make it to the top so fast that the fall also can be very quick. What happens with an explosion such as this is it's not sustainable and it will never be sustainable. What happens when you don't care about your process and how you get there is you'll never be able to sustain it 
and make sure that this is the right thing. Oh, speaking about our friends the walkers, I have promised you no more stuff. Something that's going to be. Because I find that there are a few people who are worried right now. I think some people might want to change and go to the back now. So the walkers on the other side, walkers are interesting models, interesting leaders. They don't really care about the as uh, about leadership being a goal. They care more about doing the right thing every day, every step. It's walking their thought. It's not about saying the right thing when needed, but it's about saying the truthful thing when needed. Taking the right steps towards achieving the goal. Whether it gets you there or not, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing the right thing. They work in a similar approach to quality assurance. Quality assurance, and this is back to quality assurance uh, education right now. Quality assurance, as opposed to quality check, is the process of making sure that every step of the process is being done right. Without having to worry about the end product, because the end product will definitely be good. But you make sure that every step that you're taking in the process Right. Their favorite motto is we are what we continuously do. Therefore, excellence is a habit and not an action and not a disposal. Habits, and we, when we talk about these leaders, they are focused on building habits. A habit that they do one day, after another, after another, after another, after another, day by day, step by step. So people are, this way, this is going to end, man. But that's the way to do it. It's going to be boring. It's a boring way to work for success. It's not an easy one. It's a long one. And these habits are also based on principle. That takes them all the way through, and which are based on values that take them all the way through. Two different. Change, and when we talk about change, the leaders are all about change, steering people towards change. What is their approach? Here I'll go again. Oh, sorry, I didn't prepare something for this. <laughs> but here, their way of change is what I would call the water drop model. A drop by drop. Continuity, consistency, consistency over a long period of time is how we do it. Being consistent, building habits, Ensuring that you do the right thing consistently over a period of time will ensure that one day, at the right time, when the right time comes, you will penetrate the rock, the rock hard hearts of people in order to build trust and engrave it. Trust when it comes to leadership is a fundamental, most important characteristic of being a leader. Without trust, you can never be a true leader that can influence people. And if you think about the two models, which one would you want to trust more? And which one would you be more likely to trust? A fizzy explosion uncontrollable, without knowing what the outcome would be, getting all the people in front all worried. Or, a steady, continuous, consistent drop by drop effort that ensures a continuous, uh, the same outcome. I'll leave you with a final saying of Prophet Muhammad, that 
The best of actions is the most consistent, most sustainable, even if it was small. For it is consistency, consistency that really ensures having a, an option and having a long term goal. Remember that the workers, type of leaders, are the ones who might not race to the top so far. They might take a long time to make it there, but they are the ones, when they make it, will not fall so far. Thank you.